This will be a comparison between two laptop coolers. Here we have a new design. It can support up to a 17 inch laptop. Here we have a stopper on both sides. Some little lines here that shows that they're gonna be LED shining through. We have a top air inlet. And at the back, we have a USB-A port and switches for the LED lightning and the fans. It has 3000 RPM and not adjustable. This is where the air will blow directly on the bottom of the laptop. Here we have another air inlet. Adjustable stands and four rubber feet. It's all plastic build and it's light. Let us try the fans. Now let's move on with my old cooling pad. It's a metal mesh and a plastic build. Also, we will try the fans. Unfortunately, I only have three working fans. The other two are busted. It has 1400 RPM. The fans are weak. We will do some tests. 5 minutes for every test. I will let the laptop rest a bit in between each test. First, no cooling pad. Next is new. And the last one is the old one. You will be the judge.
Final thoughts. Here are the max temperatures for each test. For the new cooler, not bad, but it could be better. For example, you can DIY a cover for the top air inlet, so it won't suck hot air coming out from the rear of Helios. Like the IETS GT300, this cooling pad costs 3 times more. The old cooling pad did a bit better for the temps, maybe because of the steel mesh. So for me, I think this new cooling pad is a good one. It has more RPM than my old one and just need to cover the top air inlet. That's it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for more future videos.